Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you how to solve a 4x4 Rubik's Cube. So here I have the 4x4 cube scrambled. So in order to solve a 4x4 Rubik's Cube, you will need to know how to solve a 3x3 Rubik's Cube. Because we are going to be reducing the 4x4 into a 3x3. We're going to make the centres into a centre on a Rubik's Cube. Make the edges onto an edge like a Rubik's Cube. After we've done that, we're going to solve it just like a 3x3. So what you're going to first want to do is uh, start um, on the white centre. So you're just going to need to turn. This uh, first part is, uh, you don't need to know any algorithms for it. You just need to get the white centres into the correct place. Now, if you can see on a Rubik's Cube, we have white. And on the other end, we have yellow. So if we flip this over, we're going to want to get a yellow centre here. So, um, as you can see, the uh, the white is on here. So what we're going to want to do is try and make little like bars like this, and then bring them up to the top layer, but then turn it around so there's nothing there, and then bring it back down so it doesn't interfere with the white. But we have a uh, yellow bar now. Uh, as you can see, I already have a bar here already made. So in order to get um, both of them onto the uh, onto the yellow centre, you're going to want to push it, pull it up, turn it away, and then put it back down so this bar goes down. So you have a white centre and a yellow centre. So now you're going to want to put it on the sides, the white and yellow. So there's um, an order you're going to need to remember or else um, the it will not work. So on a 3x3 three three, you have blue, orange, green and red with white on the top so that's what you're going to want to do not blue red green and orange because that will mess up the centers when you reduce it into a three by three so let's start work on the blue so as you can see i've made a bar now uh the blue um is probably the easiest one because you don't have to you know do like any hard work or anything so uh, here now I have um, blue, so uh, if you can remember, next up we're going to need to try and solve the orange. So you have white on the top, blue, and then orange. So uh, my uh, orange centre is in the incorrect place. Well, it's already solved, but it's over there, so I'm going to need to manoeuvre it over. Is that correct? Alright, so now I have uh, one bar here, and now I'm going to need to do the same for the other. Okay, so now I have uh, orange here, I just need to fix the, uh, I'll just need to fix the blue centre. So now here I have blue, orange, so uh, next up you're going to need to do the green. So I'll get one of the bars down here. So if I move this up, turn it around like that. So now I have two bars. Uh, remember, you need to put um, put it so they're on the same layer. Pull it down. Turn uh, that layer so um, now that it's just red. And I push it back up. Now once you've done three, all four of them should be solved. So once we've solved the centres correctly, so uh, it's... Just so we need to check, so we have white, and then we got blue, orange, green, red. So now we can move on to the edges. Now the edges are uh, is the part that's going to take the longest. So what you're going to want to do uh, is get the edges into like this. This one's already solved, which is good, but none of the others are already solved for us. So we're going to want to find, uh, as you can see, I have a uh, white and green and I have white and green so you're going to want to put them in the same layer here now as you can see I have one here and one here so I'm going to do this algorithm to get them into a line so as you can see now uh, they're across from each other so to pair the um, edges so they're here you're going to want to do this so hold it so it's on the front at the bottom and then do this Move that middle layer only.
and then you're going to want to move the middle layer again. So as you can see, we now have these edges paired. I'll demonstrate that again. So uh, here I have a uh, a white and blue, and here I also have white and blue, so I'm going to move it down. Uh, I have to do the algorithm. So now they are on the same row. And now they are paired, so you're going to want to do that for all of your edges. So, uh, I have a green and yellow. Now, not all the times you'll need to, um, you'll need to, um, do the algorithm to put them in the line. Sometimes they'll already be done for you, so you can just do the algorithm. And the edges are paired, so... I'm going to uh, do a time lapse of me just doing all of the senses. So here we go. So here I have all the edges solved, and now it has been reduced into a 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. Now if you do not know how to solve a 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube, I have a video on um, that already, so go watch that. But once you've um, finished watching it, don't, um, don't just solve it because there's extra algorithms that you'll need to know because of parity. So I'll, um, I'll just do a basic rundown on what you need to do. So you need to get the, uh, you'll need to get the white cross. So let me just solve that real quick. So, uh, I have the white cross because I have all of the uh, edges and centers for these uh, correct. So now you want to go onto the corners. Now, if you, um, so if you did the centers incorrectly, then this is uh, where it will it would have gone wrong because um, they would go incorrectly. So you'll just want to do the corners. Uh, here I have, yeah. So I'm going to do this corner. All right. This corner. This corner. And now the final corner for this uh, layer. So as you can see, we now have the white layer solved with all of the edges and corners. So next up is the uh, is the edges. So you'll want to find an edge that matches the center and put it on the center. And then as you can see, it's blue and orange. Orange is on this side. So you want to move it away. Do that. And then do that. And then, uh, if you need to move it to here, move it away and then do that. So now this, 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 this. So now uh, it's starting to look way more solved. We have uh, these three layers completely solved. So now this is where you'll run into some problems. So um, as you can see, this um, this edge and this edge they appear flipped. So what you're going to want to do is just not worry about that um, and just act like um, there's yellow on the top and orange here. So now we're going to want to find the, do the corners, no, the edges. So I might have my edges across from each other, which is boring. Yeah, so I'll have the, this I've done twice. So, so once you have this um, two edges solved, you want to put, um, you see the solved edges are here, not, not um, like that, but uh, blue and red so you want to put um the one of the completed ones at the back and one of the others to the right and then do this algorithm so now just move it to the um, left once and then uh, you've done the uh the thing so also you might have had a case which appears on the three by three as well 
where uh, your yellow cross was not correct. So what you would have had to do. So as you can see that I have an L shape. So you're going to want to put it in the uh, in the top left. Move the front face. Uh, do that algorithm. I'll do it a bit slower. But now you have a horizontal line. Move it down. And move it up. And now you have a yellow cross. So that's what you would have also done on here. So now we just have to do the uh, corners of um, of the three of the four by four. So find a correct corner. None of my corners are correct, so I'll just do the algorithm. Okay, now I'm going to look for a correct corner. This corner is correct, so I hold it on the front. As you can see, it's correct because green and orange, green and orange. So do this. So um, now you will need to check if the corners are solved, as you can see they're not solved, so I'll do it again. So now all my corners are solved, so I'll just do the algorithm that you need. Once you've solved a uh, corner, do not move the cube to, um, to this face, turn the bottom there. So that was the three by three stage. So if you um, if you didn't quite get that, I have a tutorial on the full three by three on my channel. So go find that. Now this is where it gets weird. This is called parity. So these edges are flipped because uh, we didn't do them correctly in the edge pattern. Now you, there's no way to know if you're doing it correctly or not. So uh, this happens. Now sometimes you can get the parity twice, sometimes you can get four, sometimes you can only get one, which um, I do not have. And sometimes you don't get a parity at all. And there's also a corner parity, I'll go through that after I do the edge parity. So I'll just hold uh, this one, hold it to the front. Alright, I'll just go through the algorithm because I can mess up easily if I talk while doing it. So. So now we have uh, the the edge parity solved, and now I'll have to do uh, this uh, this parity as well. So I'll do it a bit clearer because I had two. So And there you go, your 4x4 is now solved. So here I have a uh, an edge parity. So what you're going to want to do is hold it so the um, one of the edges is on the front and then do this algorithm. So this is how you, that's how you solve um, the other edge parity. I will now try and get the corner parity. So I can't quite seem to get the corner parity. I've, I've done two solves um, off camera and I've just got edge parities. So um, I'm just going to imagine that uh, I have an edge parity. So I'm just going to like turn the corner, turn the corner. So So here's a roughly what it would look like, except uh, these uh, corners, they would be switched from each other. So just imagine that. So what you're going to want to do is hold it from in front of you and then do this algorithm. So since I, um, only thing I did was like turn these corners, it obviously won't fix a torn corner turn, so I'm going to have to just redo that. But that's um, what uh, you would do. Now, after you would have got that, uh, 
it would look like the cube would be scrambled, but it would not. So you would just have to resolve the cube it's from um not resolve the cube. It would um be in a it would be in a three by three state. But you would just have to um solve the top layer and maybe the um edges again. So uh if since I've just done the algorithm, for some reason it just gives me an edge parity. So I'm not sure why. So yeah, that is how you solve a 4x4 Rubik's Cube. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later.